Hello and welcome to Running T Shark Terminal Based Wireshark. Now, in this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of points. We are going to learn about what is T Shark and what are the various commands inside T Shark that we can cover inside this video. So, now what I'm going to do here, first of all, I'm going to provide you information about T Shark and then we will learn that how we can use these commands. So, guys, I'm inside Windows Machine. And on the official website, which is wireshark.org, you can get information about T-Shark. So what is T-Shark? T-Shark is Dump and Analyze Network Traffic. So this is the work of T-Shark. It can analyze network traffic. These are the conditions here, right? If you check the description here, T-Shark is a network protocol analyzer like Wireshark, right? It lets you to capture packet data from a live network or read packets from a previously saved capture file either printing a decoded form of those packets to the standard output or writing a packet. Basically, it can provide you information in the terminal or command prompt or you can also save the output inside a file. T-Shark native capture file format is PCAP NG format, which is also a format used by Wireshark, right? So basically, T-Shark is command line version of Wireshark. Real simple, right? So this is the basic information about T-Shark. Now, how we can access T-Shark. Now, how to use T-Shark inside command prompt. Let me provide you information. Let me minimize it. Let me open the command prompt. So here it is. So we have seen in the previous video that if you want to access the Wireshark commands, then you have to visit the right directory, which is Wireshark inside program files, and then you can use various tools. So inside Wireshark, there is also a tool available, T Shark. So guys, if you want to check the directory, then you can open the Wireshark, and inside you can find the T Shark. Basically, T-Shark is a tool available inside Wireshark, which can be used to capture the packets inside command line. So this is T-Shark. You can see this is the application. And you can see this is inside your Wireshark, right? That's why we are using Wireshark directory to access T-Shark. Now, let me open the command prompt. Now, if you want to access T-Shark, then you can type here T-Shark space dash H. First of all, let's take help to get the options here. So. Here you can see that these commands are regarding T Shark. This is T Shark dash H command, and you can see the complete command regarding T Shark. Again, this is similar to Wireshark, right? Now, again, you can use T Shark space dash T to get the interfaces, and then you can type T Shark dash I and interface name to capture the packets inside command line, right? So, you can also try other options you can also use capture stop conditions where you can stop the capture after certain packets or you can also save the output inside another file so that can be done now how to use t shark very simple you can type here t shark space dash capital d hit enter and here you can see these are the interfaces we have wi-fi we are using wi-fi so i'm going to use t shark dash i number one number one is wi-fi hit enter capturing on wi-fi you can see here that now it is not starting wireshark it is capturing inside the command line so you can see here that it has started capturing you can see the time the source the destination the protocol the packet and the info part is available here right so that's how you can capture these packets using t shark in the command line right so this is basically command line version of Wireshark is T-Shark, right? And there are various options available. You can also save this output inside a file. You can send it to someone else. So these operations can be done using T-Shark. In the next video, we are going to learn about TCP dump.